follow me for the first one. Okay. So, in. This natty little knitter is airline flight dispatcher Ollie. You get that one around and then off, okay? I'm a bit of a knitter, well, self taught knitter. Only the past few months I've made a scarf. That one. So your needles around the back like that. I knitted this hat as well to match. See, look. <laughs> so what made you get into it? But Kerry taught me at work. Because yeah. she's always knitted all her life, she said. She's like, oh my God, you can knit. I've always Such wanted to knit. quality as well, yeah. isn't it? Like... <laughs> yeah. I'm not a bloke at all. I don't like football. My dad's a bit like, what are you doing that for, knitting? Don't, that's not very manly, is it? <laughs> But it's not complaining when I've knitted him a hat, is it? <laughs> <laughs> that's really honest. I don't want to ruin your no. work, but no, that's amazing. Um, I'm very excited to see what the date's like as well. Yeah. Are you excited? Yeah. What was the kind of like, right. look that you're going for? I haven't really got a preference at that's all. Good. So just anyone, you know, if they've got a great personality, you can talk to them. That's all I really care about. So some people have said, "Are you gay?" Like, no, I'm not. I mean, I was with my ex-girlfriend for what four and a half years something like that it's just my mannerisms and things like that i seem to get friend zoned an awful lot <laughs> well to our day yes <laughs> you all right mum have you got any last minute advice then any last minute tips that you can give me waiting for a relationship upgrade flight dispatcher oh, oh. that's what people like about you oh mum <laughs> I live with my mum and dad. I sometimes go to bingo with my mum. <laughs> Nothing like a bit of bingo. She does do some of my washing sometimes, yes. <laughs> I think I am a mummy's boy. What can I say? <laughs> um, perhaps ring you later on then, you know, see if anything's cracked off, if you need to save up for a hat or not. <laughs> my mum's like, why don't you go and meet somebody in the pub? Like, hi. Ibstock? <laughs> Not much chance of that, I don't think. My parents have been married for, what, 40 odd years? You can tell that they still love each other after, even after all these years. And that is what I want. How are you? I'm very good, thank you. you love the shirt with the love hearts? Ah, oh, thank you so much. <laughs> you scrub up well. <laughs> Come with me. Thank you. You got a present as well? I have. I've knitted her a heart. And oh. there's some biscuits inside as well that I've made. See you later. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome, Merlin. You are... Nice to meet you. I'm Ollie. Ollie. Yeah. Welcome, Ollie. Biscuits? Yeah. Do you, do you have your pint at the local pub and knit at the end of the bar? Knit, knit, yeah, well, <laughs> I do it at work as well. And they're in the corner knitting away and they're all laughing at me like... Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh that's brilliant. Where do you work? <laughs> um, at the airport. I'm normally the, you know, the guy at the front with a clipboard. <laughs> oh, right yeah. you are, yeah. Just, yeah, just making sure that everybody's on the flight. My job does make dating hard because it's shift work. <laughs> and it's like, yeah, working then, yeah, working then. Um, I'm free at 4 a.m. on a Thursday, if that's any good for you. <laughs> so as the waiting is the worst, isn't it? It's like waiting for an interview, do you know, that like pre-jitter. So I haven't found the right girl yet who accepts me for who I am and like, likes the same things that I do as well. I want to find somebody that I can spend the future with. Oh, wow. Have you been on online dating or looking? Or? I've tried all those apps. It never seems to go anywhere. No. A message and stuff like that, and then it's just dried up like two minutes later. Yeah. It, it's so difficult to try and make a connection. Yeah. Well, the old saying goes, there's a lid for every pot. So <laughs> it's true. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> So, um, you've always wanted to do nursing then? Is that where you wanted to go into? So... I've always wanted to work in healthcare. Mm -hmm. I work in oncology. Mm -hmm. That must be so difficult when you've... It, it's yeah. very emotive and you feel for yeah. them and yeah. care for them. Especially when they've been there for so many years and they keep coming in because I must have, well, I'm going to hopefully be a survivor. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so I was diagnosed with testicular cancer. Yeah. Gosh. I found a lump and all that and I kept putting it off, like, no, no, I don't need to get it checked out. I eventually went and the doctor said, I can bet you 100% that is, that is something. And it was, and it was yeah. right. When you hear that word, cancer, you think that's it, your life's ended. And for, the, for a moment I did, I did think, oh my God, this could be it. This could be the end of me. 
I can understand why some people are terrified by it, because it's incredibly scary. I mean, I've, I've never heard those words myself, but I've, I've seen how people react when they're told. It's, it, your heart breaks. It does. It's like a double-edged sword, because um, obviously the cancer's gone, <laughs> so they've taken that, but I've lost a part of me as well. It's not really the best chat-up line, is it? Yeah, I'm flying solo. No. <laughs> Would you want children, do you think, in the future? Yeah, I would. Because I've not had to have any chemo or anything like that. Oh, that's good. Then I assume that I can still have kids, so... Fantastic. Yeah, so that's the hope for the next step. I do have a prosthetic, though. You do get to choose the size of your ball as well. It's just like picking out a pair of shoes than picking a ball. You've got to pick what's right for your feet, haven't you? And what's right for you. I mean, you could have shut yourself off and thought, that's it, I'm going to die, what's the point, carrying on. But why would you want to do that? It makes you realise how short and how precious life is. Yeah, I'm trying to do something every month this year. OK. Something completely different and somewhere I've never been to before. Yeah. But, yeah, I've still got a few blank months to fill. No. Sounds no. good. <laughs> <laughs> so you never know. No. <laughs> Sounds like an interesting yeah. proposition. Yeah. <laughs> Can I say, you've got really lovely eyes. Have I? Yeah, Thank just you. really sparkly. And like, Are I, they? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, they say um, fall in love with somebody's eyes because you're going to be looking at them for a long time. OK. That's like what that. they say. That's <laughs> what they say, apparently. <laughs> Make sure you subscribe to get a regular serving of love and romance.